And here he is, Steve, please come in and, and see us. Fantastic to have the Scotland manager with us here. Steve, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I was just asking Craig how he, how he thought you would be in the dressing room after a result of this. I'll just ask you, how, mu how much did you enjoy that and, and how do you reflect on the performance? He said you'd go around high-fiving everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> delighted with the performance of the team. I, I thought the players were, were absolutely outstanding, first minute to last minute. Uh, five changes, the, the dynamic, the, the enthusiasm, mm -hmm. the, the quality of the team didn't change, which, which is great for us. It's a big night, it's a big, it's a, it feels like a, a step forward in, in what we try to do as a, as a nation, as a, as a squad, as a team. But. It's only six points. You don't mm. qualify with six points, so that was the message I gave in the dressing room. <laughs> That's exactly what I said you would say. <laughs> and it's very true, isn't it? Though, but there must be a certain satisfaction in having your players execute your game plan the way you asked them to, and obviously take the chances at the other end, which was a point that you you made on Saturday. When we had the ball, we looked a threat. We we we, we didn't have an awful lot of possession but what we had we used it very well and, and that was always going to be important so yeah the defensive shape's good the the distance between the units was, was really good mm -hmm. which, which stops it stops a large part of Spain's game but listen all the credit goes to the players on the pitch they're the, they're the guys that have to do the hard yards and speaking to a few of them in the dressing room they're saying that as well as being physically tired they're very they're mentally tired mm -hmm. because they're thinking all the time about where the Spanish players are going to be and and with the temperament as well, they, they were spot on because there was a lot going on out on that pitch for the referee to, to take care of. Yeah, it was competitive, both teams. Uh, that's just the way it is. You expect when you play top seed against the second seed in the group, you always expect a, a big game and, and for us it's a big win, but playing a game still to go. <laughs> Steve, as we know to our cost, uh -huh. one bad game can, can always set you back. So mm -hmm. we, we, we stay focused, we keep our feet on the ground. We spoke to you on Saturday after the game, Steve, and great result and a good performance but you did say something that you were depressing you weren't too happy with the pressing I don't know what you thought yourself I thought tonight completely different game obviously you're playing against a possession based yep. side you're going to have a lot of the ball I thought without the ball Scotland were tremendous tonight yeah it was obviously we, we, we tweaked the shape slightly which which helps you a little bit the the one up top and the two tens sometimes can be a, a difficult mm -hmm. shape to press from so we just tweaked it slightly and it seemed to, well, obviously it worked quite well tonight, mm -hmm. so something to keep, something for me to bear in mind going forward. <laughs> Not just the fact that I thought out of possession, it was the, the turnovers. <clears throat> I know you just mentioned it there, when in possession we looked a real threat. That was a big thing for me. When we won the ball back, how quickly we were getting yeah. at them and causing them problems, which I'm sure obviously you were absolutely delighted with. Yeah, I think when you, when you look at the stats, you, you know you've been outpassed. They've had a yeah. lot of possession. But when you look at the actual shots, shots mm -hmm. on goal, shots on target, it's almost equal. Yeah. So it means that we we utilised the ball when we had it very well, which is which is obviously pleasing. I think also if you look at the stats, the amount of running that those players put in tonight, I think would be incredible. I think we'll have outrun them, and I think that's a large part down to why we ended up winning that game as well. Just the sheer effort. Yeah, good effort. Right, right for the start, we kept intensity in the game. Even when Spain had the ball, we kept working them. We kept stepping the back line up, which was, which was really important. It was a spell in the first half. We got sort of camped on the edge of the six-yard box, so that's when they hit the bar. They had Angus had to make mm -hmm. a save. Once we got them back out of the box, it was, was a little bit more comfortable second half. And Scott McTominay said in his interview after <coughs> you challenged them to, to write their own story in a Scotland jersey. You know, and these players are doing that, aren't they? They're, they're, they're starting a new legacy in front of a whole new generation of fans. Hopefully, that's what, that's what we're trying to build. I, I spoke about the... I mean, the media before the game was, was wanting to go back to when Kenny scored the winner mm -hmm. and, or Kenny got the third goal in, in, in 84. And I was saying to the players, look, that's what it means to the country if you can produce a big result against one of the one of the top teams in Europe then people will speak about you in years to come and in isolation you know you're an experienced manager where, where does tonight rank for you as a performance of your team and just a result on the international stage I haven't really had time to think about it or, or digest it at the moment I'm just trying to get my try to get my voice back to be honest <laughs> so looking forward to something cold going down my throat in a minute I'm sure you certainly are <laughs> And you've got water, a little bit water, of time. Obviously, well, obviously, well, obviously water. water. Of course, obviously water. But you've got a couple of months now to, to just reassess things ahead of another double header in June. Yeah, well, that's that's one of the one of the quirks of the job that I don't quite like. But I'll have a couple of quiet days, calm down, and then we start preparing for two big games because mm -hmm. June could be a pivotal month in the group for us. So we'll make sure we're ready for those games. Congratulations again, Thanks Steve. So much. Thank you for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much.